Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. In this video, we're going to be talking about the midpoint formula. So this is the second really major formula that we need to have memorized for this Unit 5. In the last video, we talked about distance formula. That's a main one. Um, in this video, it's the other main one, midpoint formula. So this is a formula you absolutely need to have memorized before you go into any kind of quiz or test situation. In the last video, distance formula was the distance between two points. So it told you the number of units between one point and another. Midpoint formula is exactly like it sounds. You're wanting to know the midpoint between two given points. So what would be the halfway point between those two points if we were to graph it? So it's very simple to use. Um, it's midpoint equals you've got your parentheses and what this shows is that our answer is going to be a point. It's going to be an x, y point. Um, so to find our x, it would be x1 plus x2. Um, we would simplify this top and then divide by 2. And for our y value, it will be y1 plus y2. Simplify the top and then divide by 2. It's very simple once you have it memorized. So let's see it in action. So first step is really to take the time and label what is going to be your x1, your y1, and so forth. Okay, so this is our first point, so I'm going to call this x1 and y1. This is my second point, so I'm going to call this x2 and y2. It's really important to take that step so that we don't make a careless error here. All right, and now I'm just going to fill into the formula. So I've got my big parentheses, right? And then right here I've got my x1, which is 5, plus x2, which is 5, divided by 2. All right, and then I've got my y1, which is 9, plus y2, which is 7, and then that divided by 2. Alright, so remember we simplify the top first and then we divide by 2, okay? So what is 5 plus 5? Well, that would be 10. And what is 10 divided by 2? That would be 5. So there's my x value, 5. Alright, I need to find my y value now. 9 plus 7 would be 16. And then 16 divided by 2 would be 8. So my final answer would be 5, 8. So 5, 8 on a graph would be the halfway point, the midpoint between this point and this point. Okay, um, let's try another one. So I'm going to use the same formula again, and I'm going to take the time to really label. This is going to be my x1, y1, x2, y2 and I mentioned this in the last video that's where I see the most errors when it comes quiz and test time on student papers is that they're not taking the time to label they're saying oh I can do it in my head and they're making careless errors um, they don't mean to it just they just accidentally put things in the wrong place this really eliminates careless errors okay so let's lay out our two big parentheses all right, x1, which is 4, plus x2, so plus negative 4, or if you wanted to just write minus 4, that says the same thing, divided by 2, and y1, negative 1, plus y2, 6, divided by 2. So remember, we're going to simplify the top first, and then we'll divide by 2. So 4 plus negative 4, which is the same thing as saying 4 minus 4, is 0. And 0 divided by 2 is 0. So I know my x value. It's 0. For my y value, negative 1 plus 6, that would give me 5. And 5 divided by 2, hmm, that's going to be a decimal, so it doesn't come out 
perfectly. Um, you could write 5 over 2 or you could write 2.5. Okay, we'll just say 2.5. All right, so this would be the midway point, the midpoint between those two points. All right, so that's how we use the midpoint formula. Again, you must have this memorized. All right, this has been Miss Smith's Math Tutorials.